The big powers of the world continue to work on the glamorous and expensive 5th and 6th generation combat aircrafts at the dawn of the Second Cold War. However, the Brazilian turboprop light attack aircraft, the MB-314 Super Chicano is gaining new success every day in the international market. This modest plane, also known as the AT-29, is on the way to become an indispensable part of today's hot wars. As the weapon detective we are investigating the success of the EMB-314. The EMB-314 is the further development of the highly successful trainer EMB-312 Chicano of Imbra. Introduced in 1983, the Chicano was designed as a training aircraft, but was also operated in border patrol, counterinsurgency and close air support missions by users in Africa, the Middle East and South America. So, in 1991, Imbra started working on a new version of the EMB-312 which would be more suitable for these types of missions. Although it did not show interest in this study at the beginning, Brazil decided to replace the AT-26 with a new training and light attack aircraft, and gave a green light to the project under the ALX program in 1995. At first, Imbra updated two EMB-312H planes to serve as RLX prototypes. These aircrafts made their first flights in 1996 and 1997, respectively. The production configured model of the aircraft made its initial flight on June 2, 1999. This model, now called as EMB-314 Super Chicano, was considerably different from the previous EMB-312. It is equipped with a more powerful engine and has a strengthened 2024 aluminium alloy airframe which provides higher G loads and increasing fatigue life in operational environments. The flap tracks were made of steel. The landing gear of the aircraft was reinforced to handle greater takeoff weights. Different from Chekano Trainer, the new model which is light attack aircraft, had Kevlar armor protection. Internal machine guns and capacity to carry various ordnance including air-to-air -air missiles and guided bombs on five weapon hardpoints. The EMB-314 had a night vision goggle compatible glass cockpit with color multifunction displays, head-up display and hands-on throttle and stick controls. The first Super Chicano was delivered to the Brazilian Air Force in 2003. The aircraft has single-seater 29 RLX and twin seat 29B versions. For twin seat model, the rear seat elevated 25 cm. The Super Chicano has two axis autopilot with embedded mission planning capacity. Optionally, the aircraft can be equipped with forward looking infrared sensor, missile and radar warning systems, and chaff flares. Ecuador, Mauritania and Nigeria are known user of the Super Chicano equipped with the forward-looking infrared sensor. The twin seat EMB-314 version can be also used for pilot training missions, similar to its predecessor, the EMB-312. The A29 LX version is single seat and the A29B variant is twin seat. The EMB-314 has nearly 11.4 meters length over 11.1 meters wingspan, and nearly 4 meters height. The empty weight of the aircraft is about 3.2 tons, while its maximum takeoff weight is 5.4 tons. The Super Chicano can reach 557 km per hour speed with its single Brit and Whitney Pint 6A68A turboprop engine. With external fuel tanks, the range of the aircraft is about 2,750 km. The EMB-314 can climb the altitude of 35,000 feet. Besides two internal, wing-mounted 12.7mm machine guns, the aircraft can be equipped with bombs, rockets, gun pods, and missiles under five hard points with a capacity of 1,550 kg. Besides Brazil, the EMB-314 is used by Afghanistan, Burkina Faso, Colombia, the Dominican Republic, Indonesia, Lebanon, Mali, Mauritania, and the Philippines as light attack aircraft. Angola is using their Super Chicanos for border patrol mission while the Chilean aircrafts are used only training mission. Ghana, Nigeria, 
and Senegal will be future user of the EMB-314. The Super Chicano has very impressive real combat experiences. The Brazil deploys its emb 314 for border control along the Amazon River as part of the Sistema de Vigilancia de Amazonia, shortly seven program. In 2004, this country legislated for the downing of illegal flights on this region. On June 3, 2009, a Brazilian Air Force E-99 early warning aircraft guided two Super Chicanos to intercept a Cessna U-206G engaged in drug trafficking activities. After exhausting all procedures, one of the EMB-314s fired a warning shot from its 12.7mm machine guns and forced the plane to follow them to Cacol Airport. On August 5, 2011, Brazil started Operation Agata, against drug trafficking, illegal mining and logging, and trafficking of wild animals on its border with Colombia. The Brazilian EMB 314s launched several strikes upon the illicit airstrips and destroyed them with the computer-guided Mark 82 bombs in day and night times. On September 15, 2011, Operation Agatha 2 was launched on the borders with Uruguay, Argentina, and Paraguay. The Brazilian Air Force intercepted 33 aircrafts and destroyed three illicit airstrips with its Super Chicanos along with F-5s during this operation. Another user of the aircraft, Colombia launched the first ever combat mission of its Super Chicanos on January 18, 2007. The Colombian Air Force's EMB-314s hit the Marxist Leninist FRC positions in the jungle with Mark 82 bombs. This attack made use of the Super Chicano's constantly computed impact point capability. One year later, Colombia launched Operation Phoenix, and hit a FRC camp inside its neighbor Ecuador with Griffin laser-guided bomb launched from Super Chicanos. In 2010, 25 Colombian EMB-314s launched seven tons of explosives on the FRC camp during the Operation Sodoma. At the same year, Colombia launched Operation Darien this time and the Super Chicanos bombed another FRC camp near Panama border, using their infrared cameras. Colombia continued to use its EMB-314 successfully against the rebel groups in the following years. The aircraft played important role to eliminate the top commanders of the FRC including the leader of the group, Alfonso Cano. According to Air Force official statement, since 2011, the Super Chicanos have secured successfully the airspace of Dominican against drug flights. Another EMB-314 user, Afghanistan Air Force conducted nearly 2,000 airstrike sorties in 2017 with these aircrafts. In this country, the Super Chicanos were used more than 80 missions in a single week without problem. The combat records of the EMB-314 are highly impressive. This success lies the right design that is right for the right need. Before explaining this topic, it is useful to remember two important quotes. The first quote is from the 1998 film Soldier. In the movie, when he meets a group of rebels, Colonel Mkun played by Jason Isaacs, panicked despite the superior technological weapons he has. Seeing the situation, the experienced veteran church played by Gary Bussey says the following memorable quote, My daddy always said, when you want to insert a nail into a piece of wood, don't do anything fancy or glamorous. Just take the damn hammer and hit the son of a bitch until it's in. In real combat area of the asymmetric warfare, like this quote, the simplest solution is generally the most effective solution. This type of warfare does not require generally to do anything fancy or glamorous. Although a fifth generation combat aircraft has an impact on the course of a large scale war, it is not more effective than a propeller plane against small guerrilla groups. Even, in some case, state of art jet fighters are simple useless. The French experiences in Afghanistan and Mali show that the mighty Rafal, which cannot be equipped with rocket pods, was insufficient especially in close air support missions. Today French Air Force planners do not hesitate to admit that they missed the good old Jaguar. The RAF commanders also expressed the same longing occasionally. Additionally, frequent use of Rafal and Eurofighters for simple missions causes the lifespan of these vehicles to run out rapidly. 
This situation leads us to the second important quote which was told by Raimondo Montecuccoli. He was an Italian-born professional soldier who served the Habsburg monarchy during 17th century. Perhaps his most famous quote being, For war you need three things, one, money. Two, money. Three, money. It costs 36,000 US dollars per hour to send the stealth-capable F-35 against a guerrilla terrorist group of 20 to 30 people without radar and powerful air defense weapons. The lifespan of Lightning II is calculated to be 50 years. When you use this aircraft frequently in demanding tasks such as close air support, this time is inevitable to decrease rapidly. So, you may have to spend 125 million US dollars to buy a new plane less than 50 years. Whereas, the operational cost of a Super Chicano, which is bought for 9 to 18 million US dollars, only ranges from 430 to 500 US dollars per hour. In this way, it is possible to spend three necessary things which are money, money, and money, efficiently in order to continue a low intensity war. Actually, this is not a new brilliant idea. Numerous propeller trainer and liaison aircraft had been converted for counterinsurgency missions during the first Cold War. For example, armed versions of the US T-6 Texan, colonial warring collapsed European empires in Africa, often served. The military version of twin-engine the Cessna 337 Super Skymaster liaison aircraft, the O-2 had been used for close air support and forward air control mission by the USA during the Vietnam War. Also, during the Bush War, the Rhodes in O-2 seconds gained fame by undertaking important tasks. The EMB-314 is the next step in the experiences of the first Cold War. It is equipping with advanced avionics. The Super Chicano can use modern smart weapon. And like its predecessors, EMB-314 can be used efficiently in the prevention of airborne smuggling too. In terms of its technology, obviously the Super Chicano is not much of the fancy and glamorous F-35, Eurofighter, or Rafal. But it is a damn hammer to hit the son of a bitch nail with very very low cost. Thanks for watching our new video.